Welcome to my channel, Leafing Around. Today, I'm taking you to visit a very, very special lady in my heart. She is my first plant friend and plant coach. And she's the reason why I have so many plants today. Um, I knew her through a Facebook plant group and she was patiently answering all my questions about what is this plant and where do you get them? So thanks to Junie, I now hoard a lot of plants and have the garden that I have today. So Junie, her garden is really, really one of a kind. She has managed to stuff thousands of plants in here and it's really nothing I've seen before. And although it is highly a foliage garden still, it is one of the most colorful garden I have ever seen. So let's check it out. Juni! Hi! Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> Hi, me! Welcome to my garden. Yes. Make yourself at home, okay? Are you sure? Uh, just check With, uh, Yeah, yeah, no scissors, no, no spade today. <laughs> Just admiring. Okay? Yes, just with my eyes. Juni, you have such an incredible, incredible, overwhelming amount of plants. Can you tell us more how how this started or how long have you well, had it? This has taken a span of total like 11 years. I've lived here 11 years. Okay. So it started like bare, like nothing, just not even grass. Mm. It was just tiles and the ground and I started everything. What I'm proud of with my garden is mm. that every single plant is planted by my bare hands. So I've got wow. no help, no, no odd you job don't. workers, nothing. From the biggest of trees to the tiniest, it's all my own effort. Wow. So that's, 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 that's my achievement, that's my workout. Wow, that is truly amazing. I want to ask you, do you know how many plants you have? Uh, I can't even tell how many are in here, so it's <laughs> rather impossible actually. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I'm really, really excited. So guys, I want to show you what my eyes are seeing. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, I see here this section, we have quite a lot of cordylines, aglonemas. These are your favorites. Okay, I have an assortment, a, 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 a wide range of plants okay. that I like. Basically, I started off liking the seas, all the seas. The Cordyline, seeds. Croton, all the seas. Cretentus, and then Costuses. It's only because I cannot afford the proper sea, the carrots. Oh, <laughs> the diamonds. That's right, so it's all seas. So, right now, my present love would be Aglonemas. Mm -hmm. I think I have one of the biggest collection right now. Ah, wow. Okay, so this is this, this is, is an aglonema. Aglonema. This is a different bakia. That's a cordyline. Wow. Variegated orchid. It's basically whatever you can find in nursery. Is uh, nurseries are mm -hmm. all compacted into my garden. Oh, this one caught my eye, Juni. I've never seen this anywhere else. Look at this speckled blotches. Yes. Call what you might. Uh, what is this? This is a Dracaena Kensley. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Oh. It's gorgeous and by yes. that it's like you know little little stars. Of stars. Wow. It's beautiful. It's a slow grower though. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a weakness for anything that sparkles. It's <laughs> nice, like, right? I yeah. Know. This attracts attention, a lot of attention. Yes. Hey, what about this? What is this one? Oh my Those gosh, are fingers. The name is some anthurium something. Ah. I'm bad with names. Okay. So viewers, if you have any idea what this is, do let us know. I love the uh, the form. It's like fingers. So there's a big leaf here. <gasps> oh, okay. Hidden in here. Wow. Juni, it's amazing. This base is so colorful, Junie. How did you, how did you find all these colorful plants? Okay, 
As you can see, it's very colourful here and the rest of the other areas are pretty green. Mm -hmm. The only reason is because I get beautiful sunlight like from midday, mm -hmm. you know, full sunlight. Here. Yeah, so I've tried ah. to really appreciate full sunlight and that's where you know, there's a burst of colors from them. Okay, I like it. You say you've trained your plants. Yeah. I'm gonna do that to my plants. Okay, just to let your viewers know that Aglonemas basically love bright, indirect sunlight, but these have been slowly trained. So okay. So what you do is the initial part, you might get like some, you know, some burns and all that stuff, but persevere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, persevere with the plant, and that's how the plant will adjust to full sunlight. Ah, okay. And, you know, I've Observe that anything that's colourful, including colourful foliage, they tend to have much more vibrant colours if they get light. That's right. Mm, okay, yeah. alright. <gasps> this one caught my eye. Oh, oh this is Aglonema tricolour. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love it. That this I, is I amazing. Two pots. There's another pot there. Oh, you have to. Oh, and also, what? if you notice this, Mm. There's a little flower bud peeking out. Yeah. From Aglonema. Mm -hmm. For Aglonema, this is what I do. Oh. No mercy. Above. Okay. No mercy. That whatever. was brutal. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal, but it's necessary. Whatever flower buds that I see on Aglonemas, they will go because these flowers yeah. will eat up, take up a lot of energy from the plant. Oh, okay. So all the nutrients that's supposed to nourish the plant because these are foliage, are just leaves. Mm. So we want the leaves to, to outshine everything else. Yeah. And these flowers are just, you know, taking their up. nutrients. So okay. Nip them off like this. There's a new one coming up. Mm -hmm. Just nip it off. Okay. No mercy. Wow. And your plants will thank you for it. My aglonemas, I don't know why, but they usually become quite leggy. Okay. What do you do then? If they get leggy, it's because like mine is pretty compact with each other. Mm -hmm. When it's leggy, don't worry. All you have to do is just cut it up yep. and poke it back into the soil or just root it in water. It's fine that way. Ah uh, yeah, they, they mm -hmm. uh, propagate easily, right? That's right. You just cut it and yeah. then chuck it in but the ground. For me, I don't mind them leggy because my plants, if you notice, they come in uh, various heights. Yeah. So I put the leggy ones at the back and mm -hmm. then the, the short stumpy ones in the front. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, can you tell me, okay, confirm, actually they are all in pots here? Yes, basically I would say that my garden, 90% of the plants are in pots 90 percent wow yeah but some of them might have taken root already from okay. the pot okay into the ground area but for this talc section everything is in pot so what i do is once a year mm -hmm. i get really hard working and rajin and all that stuff yeah i will repot every single section here Repot them. Repot as in uh, I remove everything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ground zero. Okay. And 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 either I some plants need to be repotted, top up with soil, okay. change the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am just very um, amazed. I actually can't see the pot. So what you have achieved here is amazing because I also hate looking at pots. Yes. And then this feels like ground to me. Yeah, because for me, um, I love everything in plastic pots. Mm. For me to carry light oh, true. Because, you know, I, I have a bit difficulty a bit on my right arm, it's a bit painful. So I try to do only in plastic pots so mm -hmm. it's easy for me to move about and to juggle about. Yeah. Also sometimes when I'm I'm bored of a plant, yeah. I want in a different position. Okay. Yeah. They can shift it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I do that too. The the ones that are, are dying are not looking mm -hmm. great anymore. I will banish them to uh, ah, another corner right. that that's people right. can't see. Ha. Yeah. Oh, Juni, what a huge pot of crystallinum. This is amazing. How did you get it to be so lush? I've actually propagated many, many plants from this also already. Uh -huh. So I always believe in plants, the more you prune, the healthier it grows. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually find that when you prune it right, mm -hmm. so that somehow it's like forced to produce more babies. <gasps> oh. I've propagated like easily like 10 plants out of this. Wow. Yeah. So this is still growing lush. This is one pot. It is one pot. There yeah. is like six new leaves yeah, popping it's up. Compact in there. Wow. So to propagate, you just take your knife, go uh -huh. through, and just slice it through the root system. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've propagated many other plants, but not yet anthuriums because I find that so precious. They're easy. They're easy. 
see. Okay. All right. I'll try to do that to mine. And an explosion of, I think, Aglonemus. That's right. The Bakia? Mayan Jade, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. I think I have one too. There's one plant I want to show you. Please. It's a tight squeeze here. <laughs> ah. This is my favorite. This is the Philodendron. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. And it's so bushy because usually yeah, it's, it's just... It's spread out. Now me, I see other people, their plants are like, you know, gangly and it's sort of a creeper. Mm -hmm. oh, this one has been behaving very well. Why do you think that is? Do you do it cuts to it? I've never cut it actually. It's just grown like from one. Now there's two. Mm -hmm. It was actually from a very tiny pot. Quite recently, I've just transferred to a pot that's slightly bigger. Okay. Do not go over ambitious and put in a very big pot. Oh. Uh, it's just a very small pot. Yeah. I hear that sometimes the roots like to feel like contained. Maybe that's why the small pot works well for the totem. Okay. I think this philodendron totem is one of the special ones because it's so different. The leaf is like not a broad leaf. Yeah. It's it looks nearly like a palm actually. Yeah. It's beautiful, right? This mm. pot. Yes. Chimes, they are lovely. Oh yeah, I love wind chimes. I, I try to get them. The nice ones that I see, I'll just buy them on a whim. Okay, like this one, yeah. every wind chime has like actually a little story to it. This one is uh, carted home from Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> when I was on a holiday there, yeah. I fell in love with it. Okay, wait, let me show you. Oh, you wow. see when the light hits on it, yeah, this is from Hawaii. That is ordered from the US. Wow. From Amazon and sent to a hotel in, in LA. Touch it. Uh, the, what is this <laughs> called? This is called the Puao shell, some shell. Puao shells. Okay. <laughs> we want to make sound. Okay. Oh. It's very nice when I'm indoors and yeah. the wind comes by and then all the rustling of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's some shell. I think it makes it like more enchanted. Yeah, I've got another huge one that that plays to the tune of Amazing Grace seemingly also. That's from the US as well. How about this one? Yeah. This one was on a holiday in I can't recall, maybe Malacca? Ah. On the Jonker Walk. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this sounds very rich. Yeah. Okay, and now, now fonts. Now we look at fonts. <laughs> now we come to the area of Cryptanthus. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Also, quite brightly colored plants. That's right. It's actually one of the easiest to care for plants, Cryptanthus. Okay. Yeah. I know nothing about them. <laughs> they are pretty uh, spiky. Okay. So you gotta be careful when you know going around them or handling them. I usually wear those uh, long sleeve mm -hmm. sleeve gloves okay. when I'm dealing with these or else you'll get pretty bad scratches and scars then thereafter. Are they kind of like related to the aloe vera? They are related to the bromeliads. Oh okay. Yeah. Good then we move on. This is this is the Sansevieria section. Okay. Yeah. This is very special. Like yeah that's a copper tone. Yeah that's right. Oh okay let me pick that pot for you and you'll see uh, if I can reach it. Okay, this pot is pretty cool because it's flowering and you get to see it. This is called the Spoon Sansevera because it looks like a little spoon. Oh, okay. Look, it's in a spoon form. Yes. Yeah, I mean it's flowering just for you, just in time for you. Wow, okay, I actually don't know Sansevera mm -hmm. flowers. It, they do, they do. Or even all the common ones, they do flower. Okay. And it's pretty fragrant as well, especially by night. This one has fragrance? Uh, ini belum buka. It hasn't bloomed yet. Okay, alright. Okay. And this section, you have mixed in some Calatea too. Mm -hmm. This is a huge one. Juni, right. I know a lot of people struggle with Calatea. How do you keep yourself healthy? Okay, this is actually just one pot. Okay, wow. they love to be... Uh, to have high humidity mm -hmm. so this area gets afternoon sun dappled dappled sunlight dappled shade so they love it that way and then uh, do not be generous with watering okay. yeah that's about it and they will be happy there 
So this is also exposed outside. Exposed to rain and shine. So you say don't be too generous with the water. No, okay. no. You will know when they need water when the leaves start curling up. Oh, okay. it's a sign that they are dehydrated. Ah. So they need to be hydrated then. Also, the beauty of Calatia is also known as a prayer plant. Okay. Because uh, the plant will basically go to sleep at night and all the leaves will go upright, literally oh. upright. So by night time, yeah. I only see the pretty purple leaves on the back. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so if you Google more, you know that um, a lot of people love this plant because it's like the motion of your hand in yeah. praying mode. That's why it's called a praying plant. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just read a lot of people are really mm -hmm. struggle with it. Oh, one thing I have to ask you, do you give it like some kind of a special potting media? Um, just make sure it's well draining. Okay. Yeah, because they do not, or else it'll be root rot. Mm. So just well draining is fine. So that's why you do not overwater them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's move on to other goodies. Mm -hmm. oh, this, this caught my eye. Oh, that's, that's a croton. Croton. Yeah, yeah, it's a beauty, isn't it? Yes. It's gorgeous. This needs a fair amount of sun. It does, but it doesn't get so much sun here because it's like hiding in here. Mm -hmm. So hence the greener leaves. Okay. Yeah, but I like it because, you know, the colours, they always surprise you. Yeah, croutons, I... Okay, if you're like in yeah. social media and stuff, they're, they're not really popular or trendy plants. No, okay. My garden has a lot of common plants. Not those IG-worthy plants mm -hmm. that you see very, you know, that yeah, there's... Yeah. Like, oh, the everybody's going crazy about, over it, like, you know, the, the one that goes by the thousands of ringgit. So mine are pretty common. You can get it like 30 ringgit for a pot. Oh, this yeah. Is, this is great. I mean, we should appreciate more plants. More yes, we do. Rather than how rare. The more affordable plants. Yes. So guys, this croutons, it's, it's something I don't really have yet, but I'm just starting to notice its beauty. Uh, does it start out more green and then it turns green? That's right. This that's is right. amazing. Within yeah. one plant, it's like two different plants. I've got, got a few nicer ones, you know, yeah. other other varieties i show you. Okay, I'm okay. quite excited about croutons. Now. Okay, this is oh. a cryptanthus wreath. Mm -hmm. This is a leftover from Christmas, actually. Oh. So every Christmas, I'll... I'll pick and choose my cryptanthus from my collection and I'll make it into a wreath. There's another one out there and this is a simpler one. Some of the other uh, fronds or ferns and all that have dropped off already. So cool. It's a living plant. It's a living plant. It's like the moss. Yes, sphagnum oh, moss. Sphagnum so moss in case you want to do it, your own wreath uh, for this coming Christmas, end of the year. Sphagnum moss with uh, the netting. This netting is with compliments when you buy onions and all that in the supermarket. Do not discard those. Re recycle, reuse all the three R's, okay? And this is what you get, a very pretty wreath. More crotons here. I like this one. Can you see? It's on little tendrils. And then there's... It's so cute. Oh my right? god. It's a like a little top head on top there. I think this is called mother and daughter croton. Mother and daughter. Wow, it looks like an alien right? like antenna. Yeah, this one is more formed already. Oh, wow. Yeah, it just maintains this way. Oh, these colors are gorgeous, mm -hmm. Juni. Right. Look at this. This is nicer. Oh, the one at the bottom. Right, it's darker in color. Yeah. And it's almost black. But more contrast. That's right. And there's a sheen to it, a pretty sheen to it. And then also they started out yellow and yes. green and turned black and red. Yeah, that's, that's right. Amazing. And um, this is still unidentified. Oh. Yeah, even like I go on the planet Croton, yeah. the international planet, yeah. no one can identify this yet. So this is something I can't just easily find in the nursery. Um, I got it off a local nursery like years ago. It's a very slow grower as well. Yeah, so, but I've not seen it being sold in any nurseries already. Okay. <laughs> and then this one, is that disease or... No, that this is croton as well. <laughs> it's, it's not fungus. No, it's not. It's croton as well. <laughs> Speckles and blotches yeah. and whatnot. Okay, it's not. Okay. It's no, not it's sick. not. It's not sick. It's very healthy. <laughs> Alright. So now we come to this footpath. 
it's so so incredibly lush in this garden that the footpath has somewhat disappeared hi Irene hi oh my this is actually my favorite part of the whole garden this is my personal hiking path I call it yes. I've created it to be so whimsical look at that like a jungle. Oh, this Hoopersia is amazing. Yes, I'm in love with Hoopersias. They're gorgeous. They're right? like your hair, Juni. Right. <laughs> and I just want to show <gasps> the footpath because there isn't any left. <laughs> there is, there is. Okay, there's a reason why it's so narrow. This is how I maintain my weight. If I grow any bigger, I cannot go through this. So, oh. yeah, there's a yardstick for me. I have to stay this way. <laughs> oh, Julie, this plant caught my eye. It's ah. variegated. Yep, that's the different bakia. I think it's a big band. Different bakia, big band. Different bakia, big band. Mm -hmm. and they naturally come variegated. That's right. Wow. The beauty of variegated leaves. No two leaves are ever alike. It was very affordable last time. It was like less than 50 ringgit. The latest I've seen now, this plant can go for 450 ringgit. Wow! Propagate, Jenny. I have a few pots. <laughs> I do. I do really have a few pots. That's good. Then, oh, this is also nice. This is a, actually a heliconia. I thought it was caladia, but it's not. Heliconia? It's, that's right. I've forgotten the ID though. I've never seen any heliconia like that. Yeah, but I've googled and it's heliconia. I thought it was caladia, but it's not seemingly. Because it's got this line. Yeah, nice zebra lines. Oh, this is my prize plant. What? This is a Diffenbachia reflector. Oh, yes. It's a pretty lush from one pot. Like a lightsaber. That's right. <laughs> By night time. This yes. one, it glows in the dark. See because it it's like sparkles yeah. too. Yeah. You like everything that. Oh yeah. The affordable ones. Mm. And this mm -hmm. one looks. This is an aglonema. Aglonema alumina. Ah, oh, okay. It's beautiful. Look at that. Is this originate from the Philippines yeah. or something? I'm or? not too sure. I only know how to buy plants that attract my eyes. Oh, this is cute. This is... Look at this! What? That's the uh, antenna fern. Look! Oh my. I'm, I'm trying to film and look and it's, I'm very excited. Okay, so this mm -hmm. fern is like... It's cute, isn't it? I am just lost for words. Look it's at like the a heart shape. That's fern. right. And look at the antenna front that just grows out from the middle of it. It's pretty compact. It's pretty flat. Yeah. It's but lovely. I think the antenna that's growing out of it looks entirely different. I know. It's so cute. But it's the same plant. The leaf, the leaf shape is so totally different, right? Are you sure it's not a random other plant that grew out of that pot? Magic. <laughs> I created magic. Look, oh look at my that. God. Look at the stark difference of leaf shape. I think it's a different plant, Juni. Ah, mind boggling, isn't it? <laughs> I I need to get this. I'm a I'm a gardener and a magician as well. Abracadabra. Zoom. Two plants into one. <laughs> oh, I must get that. Do you know the name? Antenna fun. For the Antenna. full name, I have to go Google that for you. So this is how it happened guys. Juni shows me a plant and then I go, I must have it. And hey, you're on a plant fast. I know, so maybe you can. <laughs> I buy and <laughs> I buy and keep it for you. Yeah, yeah, buy and keep it for me. Oh, this is also nice. It's Seno, Seno Siu, I think, or something like that. It's got daisy like this coming into bloom already. Daisy like blooms. It looks like, like an ivy, ivy yeah. but it's not, yeah. Oh. It's not, it's pretty plum leaves. Okay. I love it because it's so variegated. It's, it's a triangle. The leaf is triangle. Yeah. This will come into bloom already. Okay, let's Little check out the flowers. Daisy-like blooms. Ah, oh, this one. Caladia. Okay. This caladia has to be shown 
of its beauty in the sunlight. Can oh. you see? Okay. The shimmering leaves. Yeah. Can you see? Yes. Look at that. I think it's rather special. I think it's Calatia medallion V2. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a juvenile somewhere as well. Oh, the wow. leaves are shimmering as well. It's like silvery and That's pinkish. That's right. Um, doesn't it remind you like a peacock? Yes. You know peacock feather? Yeah. You really do have an appreciation for colors. Yes. Do they get more or less pink if you give it more or less sun? Uh, they'll get more pink with more sun. Okay. So or else it'll just be very dull. Oh, this is a new leaf. This is how the new leaf forms. It's like any regular calathea. Mm -hmm. You notice? Okay. Yeah. But with exposure to sun, then you get boom, a burst of color. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, this gorgeous fern and the root. Mm-hmm. What's this one? It's a rabbit foot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Some people do not like it. They find it's pretty gross. <laughs> I love it. Stroking I come out to the garden. Hair. Yes, I caress them when I come out to the garden. Oh, my God. And I go like a little handshake with them. Hi, how do you do? <laughs> I think it's pretty. I think it's so unique. And they just like to be exposed like that. That's right. They like to, you see they're really creeping out from the pot. Yeah. It propagates easily just by cutting off a foot. Okay. Sorry plant. <laughs> Stepping off a foot. And then you get new plants. Okay. And you put it under filtered light. That's right. All ferns love to be under filtered light. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you have hang a pandas here. Is that a fish bone cat? That's right, it's a fat fish bone. And then all sorts. Can mm -hmm. Caladium, Caladium lindani. We've got some radiatum juvenile. We've got some smoglotis or something, whatever. Yeah. There's a mapu here. Oh! Mapu, hello. Mm -hmm. I love mapu. Mm -hmm. The contrast is coming out very nice. Yeah. Okay, this is a piper. Our guides, I think. They are climbers. Yep, they're creepers. Yep. You should see the color of this one. This is look at them. Purplish. Yeah. Okay, this is not a disease leaf, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's I, a pocket dotted grass. I think it's a I think it's a epidistra or something like that. Okay. Oh look, there's some berries here. These are beauty berries. Oh. Edible. Edible? Edible beauty berries, mm. yeah. I'm gonna try some later. Yeah, that's how we stay young. Just pop these in our mouth, okay? Hey, but I'm surprised though. I thought it would need a lot of sun and it's really shiny. Yeah, these are the ones that I propagated. I've got another bigger pot there. This is the Boston Fern Variegated. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh it's no. Too fast. Sir Cestis Mirabilis. Yeah, Sir Cestis Mirabilis. Well. Okay, this is a Dracaena Goldiana. Is that the same as what I saw outside No, earlier? that's yeah. Cantley. Just now this is Goldiana. I've got another bigger one there. This is a smaller one that I propagated. Pretty, right? This spot of Aglonema. Look yes. at the spare, the flower bud. Yeah. So pretty, right? Ha! <laughs> Ouch! You murderer! <laughs> it's because I love the plants so much I'm doing this, okay? Hmm. Yep. This, this one? Can't you get, I don't know, uh, you can. propagate and stuff? You can okay. actually, but I'm not good in it. Uh, yep. So, so I'll go. Ouch. And look, now I've got a wedding bouquet. Anyone oh. want to marry me? Hello, looks like tulips. Okay, also in my garden, right, nothing yeah. goes to waste. Like whatever cuttings, whatever that I prune, mm -hmm. uh, the discards, this is what I do. If chuck them i chuck them back into my jungle so it acts as a form of mulching ah. and the plants appreciate and thank me for it okay mm -hmm. oh, i have to ask you what fertilizer do you use Trini? okay i've lately been introduced to osmocot slow release mm -hmm. you can zoom in many mistake this as uh, snail eggs <laughs> oh yeah so i've lately been introduced to this and mm -hmm only tried applying it and doesn't it's not done any harm to the plant but i've yet to see you know the outcome of it okay but i believe if people say it's good then i'll try it 
But otherwise, you don't really actively fertilize. No, I don't. I've got way, way, way too many plants to fertilize each and every pot. So they're basically fine. I think any plant for that purpose, as long as you know it's condition for it, mm -hmm. the correct condition, the correct uh, watering method and all that stuff, mm -hmm. they thrive very well. They're happy. Okay. Wow, what a huge one this is, Juni. What's mm -hmm. this? This is a different bakia, also known as dumb cane. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got actually a very fairly small garden and I've put in a lot of different bakia. Many people say, oh, it's too big a plant, you know, they can't fit it in. Trust me, I can fit in. I've got like four huge ass different bakias in my garden. How do you manage that? Yeah, it's a matter of just layering your plants. Mm. If you notice, my garden is all basically layering, like adapt the brick a uh, layering concept brick upon brick so pot upon pot okay mm -hmm. so that's how we also don't get to see any pots that's right and the joke is whenever anybody comes to my garden my friends will go like have you lifted up the skirt because you have to lift up skirts to see what's underneath and look at this there's a glorious um here hiding uh, yes so they say you have to lift up the skirts and you lift up the skirt and you say hey eureka there's a different buck here there Oh. <laughs> An agonima there, or something like that. Oh, there's always something. Happening. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. To intrigue people when they visit uh, my garden. Yeah, because you don't want to show everything. No, at no, 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 yeah. Kind of tease it. Precisely. <laughs> Strip tease. Oh, here is a nice, beautiful corner, Juni. Yep. And this is also a Dracaena cantley, almost similar to the other one, but this is the narrow form. Okay, okay, if you can pan it. Oh, nice sparkly it's nice, right? leaves, yes. Mm-hmm. Up again, you need faster. Yeah. <laughs> let's move, yeah. let's see, let's see what else. Just like all the aglonemas are here. Aglonemas, and this is the Philodendron Lemon Line, Epipredum Pinatum Variegated. Oh, you speak so fast. <gasps> Is that what is that? This is just a regular philodendron lemon lime, and this is a fine. It's decided to go variegated. Oh my god, it just turned variegated. Oh, look, there's by another itself. leaf here that's a bit variegated. Oh. oh, I have that too for my lesser room upstairs. Uh -huh. It just goes variegated. So, yeah, this that plant just turned from maybe 20 ringgit to, to 400 ringgit yeah. now. Uh, any bias? <laughs> any bias? Oh wow, hey, it's like striking lottery, Juni. I know, any bias? DM me, DM me. DM you, okay, so... It's only one leaf, look at that. It's okay, 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 I have to study this because the stem <laughs> was just completely lime, 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 uh -huh. and then it's turned variegated on its own. Yes, I think I think caressing the plant a lot helps. <laughs> okay, so the trick to make your plant variegated is to caress it. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so scared. What did I step on? You step on a tendril with the baby help sticking up. Oh my god. Up. No worry. No worries. Is this one? It's a basket plant, Calicia fragrance. This is a what? Basket plant. Commonly known as basket plant is Calicia uh, fragrance. I thought it, it looks so much like a bromeliad. No, and the beauty of it, it just grows like it comes out from here. Uh huh. Little stems and tendrils like that, that come out, and little babies will plantlets will oh. form at the end. Oh my god, yeah. I just stepped on a baby. No, it's okay, they're pretty hardy. They're pretty hardy. Oh, this is some other variegated plant. Yeah, that's a jasmine, pinwheel jasmine. Ah. That's it's not, not fragrant, it's so pretty. Huh, the color, yeah, I never knew this. Oh, there's some more here. I want to show you. Look at this, look at these berries, they are just dangling. Do you like it? It's, and it's not tomato? No, look at this. Look at this colour. Can you see it? Oh, it's yeah. a Surinam cherry. What? Surinam cherry. It's, uh, it's similar to the acerola cherry. Very high in vitamin C content. And that's how you look so youthful. Look at this. Okay. And guess what viewers? What? I'm going to make Irene Chen eat one. Because my <laughs> garden is pesticide free. Oh, okay, okay. Go. Okay, wait for your reaction. Did I wake you up? Mm -hmm. Did I wake you up? 
It's got this punch. I know. Yum. It's very tart, acidic, right? Yes. Oh very high in vitamin C. Doesn't need a lot of sun. Uh, no, it's fine like that. Look at this part. It's not. Mm. It's not with a lot I of sun. I want to buy a pot from you. <laughs> I'll propagate for you. <laughs> nice. This is a pale pink. Mm -hmm. Now I know from your Facebook posting you have a lot of varieties. <laughs> Not really. Oh. Varieties, you Can you see this? Oh. These are the seed pots of the Atlingara elatia, also known as the torch ginger. Mm -hmm. The locals call it the laksa flower. Yeah. Okay, these are the seed pots. What I'm gonna do for you is get one out. Okay, I'm going to make Irene eat things again from my garden. Are you serious? It's a buffet in okay. my garden. I never knew you could eat this. Try it. I have them and I just throw them away. Try it and let me know. I want to see your reaction again. It's <laughs> sour. That's right. It's totally different from the flower. The flower is like fragrant and all that, you know, used for, for salads and but this is totally different. It was taught by an orang asli. Mm. It told me that I could eat the, the seeds from the seed pot. This burst of flavors right. is primarily sour. It's a okay. little bit of sweet. Since we're at it, mm -hmm. look at this. It's, this is a Costa's Green Mountain. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make Irene Chen eat more things. She looks like she's hungry today. <laughs> yeah, I've had breakfast, right? I've never had breakfast. Okay, bon appetit. Okay. So, this is this is uh, an unbloomed un, unbloomed bud of the Costa's Green Mountain. <laughs> mm. Do you like it? Also sour, but very very juicy. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty odd. Look at this, full of uh, ants, and also the nectar will be very sweet, mm -hmm. but surprisingly, it's so sour. Mm -hmm. So this is good for. Uh, to dip into sambal blachan, oh. into for ulams, I put yes. this into my fried rice, into my nasi ulam, nasi kerabu. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I I forage my garden for edibles to just chuck into my dishes. Oh, Jenny is a great cook also. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, I hear now. Ah, oh, yeah. This is the one that. Okay. Yeah, this is a a nice one. Got from the US. It sounds like a church or something. That's right. It's seemingly supposedly to play to the tune of Amazing Grace. Wow. Now you make me want to have one. Well, it's only, it's only about a thousand ringgit. <laughs> what? So, yep, that's the most expensive green charm I have and that's about it. I'm going to stop at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it just transports you to somewhere I know. Else. Okay, 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 more stuff to eat, Jenny. Uh, more what stuff else? to eat. The edibles are all here. Have you ever tried ulam? Ulam you raja? Know, I don't cook. I don't even know what ulam okay. is. This is my favorite. Tell me what it tastes like. Ulam. Yeah. Okay. You just eat. Just pluck and eat. Don't worry. I'll eat with you to let you know that it's safe. Doesn't it taste like young mango? It's got a mango flavor. Mmm. Yep. That's okay. ulam raja. Yes, like a raw mango. Okay, this is a... Okay, try this now. This is longevity spinach. Oh, that sounds nice. Ah, this is longevity spinach. You just uh, nibble on two leaves a day. Mm -hmm. And it's good. It's supposed to uh, anti-cancer and the good, the good stuff. Look younger. The good stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> Um, the sweet basil, the uh, sort of coriander, the polygarnum or something, the laksa leaves. Yeah, laksa leaf, dankasum. This is a Brazilian spinach, mm. longevity spinach, eggplants. Eggplant? Yeah, this is good for stir fry with omelette. I forgot what's the name though. Mm. That's a kunyit leaf, turmeric oh. leaf. I've got ginger growing, pretty good pot there. Variegated wow. lime. Even your lime is variegated. Yeah. Variegated chili as well. That's not doing variegated too. chili. Yeah. Okay. That's eat, too much. Next, eat this. Eat this now. This is down salom. One of my favorite for for nasi ulam and nasi krabu. I love the down salom and the ulam raja. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. 
This is sweet potato that's variegated, money uh, ipomia. That's too much, Juni. Even your vegetables <laughs> variegated. This is ipomia <laughs> pink frost. Wow. This is basically my uh, propagating section as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one has a lot of tiny leaves. Yeah, there's up. a cerastis, there's a philodendron here propagating. There's a totem here oh, propagating wow. a totem here. Uh, Juni, I just teach you something. My success is mm -hmm. fabulous. I put it on the ground and, and for the runners. Yeah, the runners. I know the runners are here. Yeah, I'm waiting for the runners. Yeah, it's rooting already. The runner I was deep. It was in the soil. On this yeah. one, it came up. Yeah, ah, it's yes. taking root already. Good. So, so that will be another. Plant. That's kaching kaching. That's kaching. Ka yep, it's money plant. Yes. The price has gone up so much. It's crazy. Okay, this is the Caladium Hilo. Hilo Beauty. Yeah. Why not? What is this? A white lava? Or something? White lava. Yeah. Also oh. Highly sought after. Oh my gosh, this is scotched. Don't take this is scotched already. Okay. Philodendron lemon lime. No, lime fiddle. Lime fiddle. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is a very nice one. Yeah, this is a. Oh. Mozzarella Peru. No, 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 no. This one. Uh, that's right. <laughs> but it uh, is that dust or dust. variegation? <laughs> dust. <laughs> dust. <laughs> okay. There's a pasazanum here with a new leaf. Uh, oh. Nice. Okay. Pasazanum. Mm -hmm. It is a pasazanum because uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of confusion with like okay. Dowell or mm -hmm. pasta How do you tell again? So one of the way is. I look at the patio to see mm -hmm. whether it's got reddish. Mm -hmm. Well, some people say if the new leaf unfolds and the back is like pinkish, that's a McDowell. So mine is a pasta, seemingly. It's not pink. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. people also look at the new, new growth mm -hmm. because a McDowell would be a lot more bright okay. red. Bright so this is like that. So it's yeah, a pasta. So this then. is a pasta. Yeah. It's like a this is a jump expert. Ah! This is, this is might one. be a melony or something variegated. A philodendron melony. I think so. No I one knows. No one really knows. Okay, this one variegated. I got this on my balcony. I propagated this <gasps> plant. Is yep. I propagated some ching. Ka ching. <laughs> ka ching. Ka ching. <laughs> Juni, you have a normal plant and I just turned variegated in your no, hands. They're variegated. The secret is caress them. Caress my plant. Look, it's variegated, look. Ah. Yeah, it's not mosaic, it's variegated. Maybe the wind chime sounds help too. Maybe, right? I'm gonna justify buying the wind chime. <laughs> this is my favorite. Don't ask me what's the, the new name. I only know it as. Philodendron Goldii that was formerly known as Philodendron Goldii yes. now it's some weird Sprucianum okay. Tuffel Tomatophyllum Sprucianum Clever girl because of that you can give me a free plant <laughs> okay yeah. this one you know it's like I love to count the blades of leaves I think max I've gotten is 14 blades I think this one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! Yes, wow. bingo! You yep. win! Yep. Max so far is 14. Normally people grow about 12. I don't know why. Mine is on steroids, I think. Yeah, this, this leaf structure is just incredible. I know, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. This is a radiator. I always joke that it kind of looks like the papaya leaves. Leaves, I know, right? And then that's Mayoi here. Uh, this is, is it Pai Sunrise? Yes, that's right. Pai Sunrise. Toria Ternatia, also known as a blue pea flower. And guess who's gonna eat us all? <laughs> I can eat it like that. Yes, you can. Trust me. You even look younger and prettier and all that. Okay. Mm, it's actually sweet. I know, right? It's totally different from when you brew into tea. It's mm -hmm. tasteless, basically, just for the mm -hmm. color. Yummy. Mm -hmm. This flower is yummy. Yeah, I collect these flowers on a daily basis. I dry them up and I use them as blue dye for nasi krabu. Ah, okay. So, because I don't cook, I don't know any of these. Hmm, should start cooking. Okay. Thank 
you so much, Juni, for having me on this tour today. You are most welcome. It's actually my pleasure of you being here. I hope your viewers will enjoy my simple garden with common plants. You call this simple? Yeah, <sighs> And common well although there are maybe some readily available plants but still you have plants that I have never seen anywhere else uh, so dear, dear viewers I hope you have enjoyed this episode and appreciate a gardener like Juni because she does not just go for IG worthy plants and follow the trends I feel very much she's just going on her own way, collecting things you love. That's right. Yeah, great. So everyone, if you want to do this, you just have to buy plants continually <laughs> for 10 years and <laughs> not be so influenced by what you see on Instagram. Yes, never. Yeah, yeah. I, I've fallen into the trap of that. I look at what people have and then I want them. I don't actually, I just, I just basically buy what I see and what I like okay. and always Decorate your garden to the way you like it, not what the standards are. There's no standard. It's yeah. what you like and how you like it, how you're comfortable with it. And never be ashamed of the plants that you have. Yeah. Right? I find that some people, they feel a little like, oh, my plant's not good enough to, to post or not good oh, enough no, to show. like on those gardening groups, if you like your plant, if you take a photo, post it. Don't think that, oh, I'm not going to get any likes or people are not going to not appreciate it. No. Do it to justify yourself, not to justify what others think of your plant or your photo or whatever. Yeah. Just be kind to be yourself. And be kind to others too when you see them yeah. posting, you know, the more common yeah. plants that you have. Sharing is caring. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Okay, viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you do, please remember to click subscribe and also share it with others. So until my next episode, I bid you goodbye, farewell, selamat tinggal. And um, what other languages do you know? Obrigada. Bye-bye. <laughs>